Hello and welcome to this video in the Google Shopping Training Series. In today's video, we'll be connecting all of our accounts in Google and installing our Google Analytics and conversion events into our Shopify website. Doing these steps will allow us to effectively utilize our data to develop a stronger marketing campaign. Please make sure you follow along step by step to ensure this is done properly, as it can have big consequences later for you if you do it improperly. Before we can start with the training, I wanted to remind everyone to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day to build your knowledge in advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping. I do this absolutely free of charge. I also host a live call every single Thursday night for the Facebook group where I give away a one hour consulting call. By subscribing, you are helping this channel reach more people and build out the revenue required to keep producing these videos for you. Thank you so much for clicking through and I hope you enjoy the video. We're going to start by linking our Google Analytics to Google Ads and Shopify. Log into your Google Analytics account and click on Admin in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Click on Tracking Info in the center column, then on Tracking Code. We're going to copy the code in the top left of the area that opened up. Mine starts with UA. We now need to go over to our Shopify admin panel to install the Google Analytics code. On the left column, click Online Store, Preferences, and paste in the Google Analytics code into the Google Analytics code section. Click Save and go back to your Google Analytics dashboard and in the admin settings, under the center column, you will see a link that says Google Ads Linking. Click that. I have more than one ad account set up for this login, but you should only have the one that we set up in the last video. Select your ad account and click Continue. Give the link a name, share all of your website data, and link accounts. Your Google Analytics is all set up and linked to your Google Ads and Shopify. Time to move on to the Merchant Center. Log into your Merchant Center dashboard and click the wrench icon in the top right. In the right column, click on Linked Accounts. Your Google Ads account should show up and all you need to do is click Link. Time to load up Google Ads to confirm the linking request and set up our conversion event. Log in to your Google Ads dashboard and click on the wrench in the top right corner. In the Setup column, you should see the option for Linked Accounts. Click here if you weren't given a pop-up to confirm your merchant account linking. Scroll down to Merchant Center, and for me, this is on the left column towards the bottom. Click Details. In the new screen, click View Details. Now click Approve, and you are done. Last part, time to set up a conversion event. Click on the wrench again in your Google Ads dashboard, and click in the Measurement column, the first option, Conversions. In the middle of the screen, you'll see a plus conversions button. Click on that. Select website. Our category is purchase. I don't change the name because I'm only going to have one purchase event. I set the value to the same for every conversion. Don't worry, we're going to change this in a minute. I do count as one, but again, we're going to be changing this a little in the, in the end anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Basically, we only want to track a conversion when a new order number is generated. The last four options are one week, one week, yes, and last click. The first two are just how long we track a cookie from Google. Option three is to set this as a conversion event, and option four is to give the conversion to the last item that a customer clicked on the Google Shopping page to land on your page. Click Create, and use the option to install the tag yourself. We will need both snippets of text, Copy the first paragraph and go to your Shopify admin panel. Click settings in the bottom left and then click checkout. Under the order processing section, you'll see a section saying additional scripts. Paste the first piece of code here and go back to Google Ads. Copy the second piece of code and paste it after the first piece of code in your additional scripts. We do need to make some changes to the last part of code, which I will add to the description of the video. We want to delete the line that says transaction ID and replace it with the following code. 
This is just setting the value you will send to Google Analytics to the order value, the currency to US dollars, and the transaction to only fire with transaction ID, which will only happen once. For currency, if you are not in the United States, don't put USD, put whatever currency your website is in. So if your website is US dollars, put US dollars. If it's Brazilian real, put Brazilian real. That's all for today. If this video helped you in any way, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping training. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.